Yesterday marked four years since the Fukushima disaster. And nobody cares. It's not in the mainstream media. <laughs> No concern. Just like after it happened, we ain't have it under control. When in reality, they lie time and time again while radiation's flying all over the place. What action did our environmental protection agency take? Increase the allowable levels of radiation up to 100,000 times the current allowable level at the time. Come on, man. 100,000 times. Think about that. Let me put it into perspective. Imagine them raising the acceptable outcome alcohol level for drivers 100,000 times. Get what I'm trying to say? Hello, I'm Lady Barbara Judge. I'm Deputy Chairman of the TEPCO Nuclear Reform Monitoring Committee. And I was asked to explain what safety culture is. So I thought I would give you an explanation that's not nuclear. Just think about driving a car. If you are driving your car and you hear a rattle and you have an appointment, if you have an appointment and you don't want to be late for it, you will hear the rattle, but you'll drive on anyway. And if you drive on anyway, you may have an accident. And if you have the accident, you never get to your appointment. Start again. If you're driving along and you hear a rattle, and you have a safety culture, you'll stop the car and find out what the rattle is. And you'll fix it if there's something wrong. And then you'll drive along and you'll get to your appointment, but you might be late, but you'll get there. The, the people on this side may have the accident and they never get there. The people on this side may be late, but they're safe. The safety culture is safety first, safety before schedule. If something happens that's out of the ordinary, find out what it is. Look for it, fix it, ask the hard questions, have a questioning attitude. Think, hmm, I must see what the rules are, follow them exactly, and don't worry if it makes me late. That's safety culture. How did this affect TEPCO, who managed Fukushima? Well, I'm glad you asked. They profited 4.3 billion dollars. Isn't that always? Always. Always the case. There's a tsunami, a tornado, hurricane, cyclone, fire, flood, drought, war, terrorist attack, school shooting, etc. Somebody's getting paid.